Hi, I'm Paul Peavy. I'm a psychotherapist and a former stand-up comic. You might say, I'm a stand-up therapist. What I want to talk to you about today are New Year's resolutions. And the question is, do New Year's resolutions work? And the answer is, no. No more than a Ferrari just sitting in a garage works. You gotta get in, turn the key, put gas in it, make some effort. You gotta effort it to make your New Year's resolution work. So you work New Year's resolutions. Why New Year's? Well, it's kind of a time for everybody to think about and refocus their life, and it's fine. A March 28th resolution works just as well if something significant has happened to you on March 27th. So, New Year's resolutions are there, and it's up to you to make it work. Now, if you don't want to make it work, don't put the effort in it. I like to call these New Year's yada 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 resolutions. Yeah, kind of elaine it. If it doesn't really mean anything to you, if it's kind of part of a uh, party trick, and remember, party tricks in when the party's over. So, if you really want to be serious about it, make your New Year's resolution work. I'll give you some technique. If not, just say, hey, I'm having a new yada 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 resolution. But if you want to make it work, be specific and don't allow yourself to be all or nothing if there's a fall off the horse moment. When you fall off the horse, get right back on it and find maybe a different way to meet your goal. But here's how I believe you have the best chance of being successful. The first is by taking three pieces of paper and the first piece of paper will say what? What do you want to change? How do you want to make your life better? And I know this sounds old school and simplistic, but there's something about putting stuff down on paper, and I'm even not even talking about a tablet, because with this piece of paper, you can tape it on the refrigerator, you can tape it on your bathroom mirror, the steering wheel. As goals get more specific or reminders, you can use sticky notes on your steering wheel of your car, things like that. But I think it's important to have these reminders to make it happen. The second piece of paper, take out, write the word why. Why do you want to happen? Why do you want this to happen? Now the odds are, if the first words are I want or I need, then that's a really good commitment. If it starts with somebody else's name, like your spouse or maybe a parent that you might become resentful of, you might not buy all in. Now if it's something like a child, I want to live longer for my child, or I want to do this or that for my child, odds are there'll be less resentment, so you'd be more willing to be committed to it and through it. The last question to write out, and this is a really good brainstorming piece of paper right here, how? How do I want to have, have that happen? And having lots of suggestions and different ways of doing it is huge because some things may work for you well and some may not. You may not know it till you get into it. The best thing about how to me is stuff that is fun and energetic, like joining a Zumba class or with music and stuff around it or, or joining a book club with people that are fun uh, to be around. So a lot of different brainstorming happens on that how section and put it all together and then the willingness to commit to seeing this through even if your first method or how doesn't work and finding a different way because it's that important that you made a New Year's resolution instead of a new yada 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 resolution. Good luck. Happy New Year.